Hello, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. This is the 4D CAN software tool that I have designed and developed. It is for sale on my website, www.rswsolutions.com. So I've just added a new feature to the tool that allows the user to not only use a USB-based ELM 327 device, but a Wi-Fi-based ELM 327 device. The Wi-Fi-based device is a little bit easier to set up. Sometimes the USB-based uh, ELM devices can be a hassle with uh, Windows drivers. So the Wi-Fi is a little bit easier to set up and maintain. It's wireless, of course, so that it adds another layer of, uh, of benefit to your interaction with your vehicle. Um, but it can take a little bit of time to set up. We're gonna go over those steps real quick. So you go ahead and uh, work with your wireless connection here, and it's gonna show up in a second here. Here it is, Wi-Fi OBD2. That is the Wi-Fi L1327 device. You're gonna to connect to that network. Now you're not actually gonna be able to connect. It's gonna attempt, but you actually have to set up the IP address manually in order to get full connectivity. And for that, we're just gonna to go to the network sharing for Windows and we're going to change the adapter settings and we're going to right click on the, win uh, the wireless network, go to properties pull up the properties window on the TCP IP version 4 properties we're going to manually put in an address and this address is specific to this device it's uh, 192.168.0. and your address can be anything but 10 so you just put in any address here subnet mask is the default and we have 192.168.0.10 is the address of the adapter. Say OK and close that out. Now, give it a couple seconds to go up the TCP IP stack. And we should be able to connect now to the adapter. All we do is see here is the address of the adapter and the port. And we just hit connect. And we just queried the uh, this IP address, and here is a response from the device. And it's uh, been properly enumerated as ELM327 version 1.5. So now we're ready to communicate with the vehicle. Uh, for example, communicating with, communicating with the air suspension module, it's the same as before. You cho choose the module you want to communicate with, open. It's going to go through the um, initialization steps. It's going to go into an idle sequence, which we're in now. Now we can read the faults on the module. Here are the faults that were returned. We can clear the faults and read the faults again. And there are no faults returned. Let me just close. That's it, basically. So it's the same functionality you've had with the 4D CAN tool all along, but I have added the ability to communicate through a Wi Fi based Elm 327 device. So that's it. Uh, please visit my website for more information. Thanks.